Welcome back, everybody. In today's video, we're doing a deep dive in the archives of frauditors getting arrested. And I found, I believe, to be the oldest arrest I have ever seen. This frauditor arrest is from 2016, a whole eight years ago. So I don't think I've seen anything before that. And it's going to be interesting to see how the script has evolved from back then to today. Without further ado, enjoy the video. Hey, how are you today? How are you today? David I'm Corporal Shrad at the Greer Police Department. How are you? Okay. Is there any reason why you're videotaping? I'm just curious. You're not in any kind of trouble. There's nothing here other than we got called and told that you were walking around the parking lot. So, any particular reason for it? No, you're not going to answer? So we're just going to have a stare off because I'm recording you and you're recording me? Is that what we're going to do? Do you have your ID on you? Do I do anything wrong? Well, you're recording a suspicious activity, which puts this into a category of suspicious activity, which means under Terry versus Ohio, I can detain you until I can determine or deny that there's any Terry criminal activity Terry going on. I would there there's already a call on it, so yes so it would. Is that, is that a felony or misdemeanor? That's a misdemeanor. No, it's not. Yes it is. And I can't believe you just sat here and lied. Yep, go ahead and give me your ID for All me, right, please. You to the scene? I am a supervisor. I need another one. Okay. I need a lieutenant or somebody else. Okay. Three oh one three fifteen. He's requesting a supervisor. Above me. Actually, actually, I'm going to do this type of thing. Okay. I'm just curious. I mean, oh, if yeah, you're not yeah, doing yeah. any criminal activity, there's nothing to worry about. So why are you asking my ID? Because you're not answering me. And when you're not answering me, how do I know you're not filming this parking lot to come shoot it up? It's the oh, Fifth Amendment, right? So I can check on that if it's suspicious. And the part of that checking is to identify you. So if I can get if your ID. A felony or misdemeanor. Again. So obviously we can see that the script hasn't evolved much. Is it a felony or a misdemeanor casing a police parking lot? It's like they haven't come up with anything original in over eight years because everything they're doing today, this guy was doing it eight years ago. He actually got a call on you. Well, a, what, what crime have I committed? Well, so anytime somebody calls in and reports suspicious activity, it's a suspicion of failing with a misdemeanor. Uh, it's the new one, but he asked oh, me. Okay, thank you. So he said it was a misdemeanor. So now we have a conflict on which one it is. We don't have a conflict at all. We have a conflict with where you're acting. Whoa, sir. whoa, whoa. Taping, taping whoa. our parking lot in the day, stay and age. That's fine. Whoa. That's fine. You ain't got to whoa nothing. Whoa. What's your name and badge number? Uh, my badge number is 201. It's Lieutenant Hofer. H O L C O M B E. Now, let me have an ID. This, this is the intimidation factor. Let me have an ID, please. What crime have an ID. An ID. An ID. You're under Terry versus Ohio. You've got to give him your ID. To, uh, Interfering with police. Officer, I ask you for an ID. What crime have you got? An ID. What have you got an ID? Three fifteen, officer. Videotaping our parking lot and walking around the police department. Park yes, sir. Right now, in the, in the day and age that we're dealing with, yes, sir, it is a crime. What crime there. have I committed? To Anytime there's a suspicious oh, person is that's that going on, you see your ID. Whoa, whoa. You, got, you got the count of three, whoa. or you're going to jail. You got to see. I got one hand on the camera. One. Whoa. Two. Don't show three. me. You're under yeah. arrest. Whoa. You are now under arrest. Sir, you got the ID on you? Sir, you got the ID on you? Um, I like it. It's not my stupid name and not speak with anybody, so I've got a lawyer present here. Ask him for ID. That's, that's actually uh, not the that's a, that's a right to stay in jail. That's a right to stay in jail because if we don't have an ID and name with everything, then you stay in jail until we figure out who you are. So you can tell us who you are or you can stay in jail. What, what kind of ID? 
you are interfering with the police. So obviously he wanted to make a sensational video. He wanted an interaction with cops and he got it. He just bit off a little bit more than he could chew. And at the same time, if he doesn't want to ID, like the officer said, they don't care. They can book him in as a John Doe. And then if he still doesn't want to ID, he now has permanent residence at the local jail. What crime are you I wasn't interfering. Yes, you were. You guys came to approach me. Yes, sir. And I asked yes, you for an ID. And what crime have I committed? Interfering with the police. What crime? Interfering with the police. What crime? For you suspect for Listen interfering? to me. Listen to me because I, I know you're you. not deaf. I don't got to listen to you. Interfering with no, the police. I was not. Yes, you were. No, I was not. Yes, you were. No, I wasn't. And you know I wasn't. Don't worry about it. Well, I'm, I'm not worried, worried about it. I do this all the time. That's fine. I've been in South Carolina, North Carolina, and Georgia doing this. Well, guess what? You're going to see the inside of the South Carolina jail. You know my property's supposed to stay with me. Go ahead, have you know seat. my property's supposed to stay with me. You Go know ahead, that, right? Get the car. All right. So you got him by the camera. Lieutenant uh, Holcomb does not want to bring my property seat. with me. Oh, now he wants to bring it. There you go. Now he knows he's recording. I heard you say so. I'm sorry. I've got your phone. Headquarters 315. 1046. What adult black male? 10 5 from this location. 600. Yep, body camera was on. I won't turn it off till we're inside the jail and those cameras are on. That'll just protect both of us, right? Interfering with police? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Not identifying yourself? When you're, when you're acting suspicious, under Terry versus Ohio, if there's a reasonable suspicion that a crime is being, has been, or might be committed, you can be detained and placed in investigative detention. Once you're placed in investigative detention, you have to identify yourself. If you don't, you can be charged with interfering with police. I'll, when we get inside, I'll explain it. The cage makes it hard. Well, it's just going to depend on whether or not you ID yourself. Because you didn't have any on you. So once we figure out who you are, we'll issue a citation. If I just issue a citation for interfering, you don't even have to see a judge. If you don't want to identify yourself, then we'll have to make you see a judge. So that's going to be pretty much up to you on how that happens. Okay. And I apologize when you asked me what kind of crime it is. I was thinking interfering in my head and not what you were asking, so which is a misdemeanor. It sounds like he articulated it pretty well for the frauditor. Now, I wonder if the frauditor is going to absorb that information and use it in his next fraud. Or is he going to refuse to accept the truth and continue on the cycle? It's actually very unlikely that he's going to change his ways. Not identifying yourself is interfering. <laughs> because you didn't identify yourself when you asked for an ID when you're under investigation. For suspicious activity, <laughs> you don't you don't have to have a crime for Terry. Is being has been or might be, so you fall under might be. Headquarters three fifteen ten six. Yeah. You know what it ultimately boils down to is what an attorney and what a judge think, right? I've got your phone. Step out for me. So, what's your last name? 
So you're not going to tell us your name? You're still going to play that game? No, I'll tell you my name and everything. Okay. But I need you guys to actually bring these laws to me so we can actually... I don't have to bring you anything right now until discovery is met. Well, like I say, like I, I do this so. all the time, you know. Okay, that's great. I, I had an encounter with Greenwood County, Spartanburg, Easley, and if you ever got to Spartanburg, they know, they know the rules. You know, Chambers, I would say you have to have a reasonable ticket suspicion of crime in the valley. Is being has been or maybe. Well, yes. You might as well look it up before you, go, before you do all this now. And kick it. Go ahead and face that counter. There you go. I did not turn it off. You don't want to turn it off? Not right now, no. Why not? Because there may not, yeah, it's still on, so and so are the cameras in here. Because you want to delete my footage, is that what it is? No, I don't want to delete your footage. Is the camera still on? Yes, I'm camera's on, not going to delete the footage. He did not want to turn my phone there's a camera there, there's a camera there, you're I'm all good. Okay, are you going to give us your name and everything now? Where's Terry versus Ohio at? I already explained Terry versus Ohio Where's to you. Terry Ohio at? I already explained it to you. Hey, find me a jail cell. Okay, then we'll find you a jail cell. Book him in under John Doe. He doesn't want to give any information. He'll just stay with us until we can fingerprint him and get his stuff back from the FBI, which could take weeks. It's okay. Not if you don't identify yourself, because we got to wait to find out who you are. How do I know you're not a convicted murderer with a or somebody with a warrant on him? So at this point, the frauditor is just doubling down on stupid. He won't identify, and like the officer said, what if he has warrants? They just can't release him without knowing his name. They can't give him documentation on his charges without knowing his name. And that just proves that this guy is completely brain dead. It's like, dude, you already fucked up. You already got arrested. You know very well that when you're lawfully arrested, you have to identify why are you playing games? And then he's going to complain in another video that they held him for two and a half hours. They wouldn't have held you for two and a half hours if you would have simply identified. I'm gonna turn my body camera on. I'm gonna leave it on. I'm not gonna turn it off yet. I'm going to see if CID wants us to keep his phone because God knows what he's filming and for why. Okay, I got a gentleman in our jail facility. I don't know if you heard all the drama going on in the parking lot. Um, long story short, we got a call that he was videotaping in the insurance lot next door and then the PD lot. And then when um, Hamrick drove by him, he was filming Hamrick. I was asked to get out with him. I got out with him, approached, told him. You know, he asked me for my damn badge number, told him who I was. He refused to identify himself. Then he asked for a supervisor because he didn't believe we had Terry. So Forrester came over and Holcomb came over. And then he still refused to identify himself. So Holcomb said to arrest him for interfering. Um, he's. We were curious, should we hold on to the cell phone and try to get a search warrant since he's out here filming God knows what. I don't know if he's filming to come blow up our building, shoot us. We got a church next door. We got kids next door. You know, God only knows why he's. I have no idea. I have no idea. He's a black male with dreads. He won't identify himself. Nope. He's got nothing to say, and he doesn't believe we have Terry, Ohio because he doesn't think that maybe committing a crime or in the future type thing doesn't apply, in his opinion. Well, I got him on interfering, but, you know, as far as the phone goes, God knows what he's filmed.
All right, so before we wrap up the video, we have an update from the frauditor that was a year later, I believe, so about six years ago, and he's having a sob story. And just for all the lens lickers out there, there's no lawsuit. The case didn't get dismissed. At the moment, we don't know what happened with it, but there is certainly no lawsuit. So I know a lot of them get all excited in the comment section saying, oh, that's an easy lawsuit. Well, in this case, it's easy to prove it. This has been over seven years ago and there's still no lawsuit. So at this point, I'm sorry to tell you, it's not coming. All right, so what's going on, YouTube? Oh, something like that. Going on YouTube and YouTube subscribers. Um, I know you guys want to know about the update about what's been going on with me about the whole situation with the Greer Police Department. So, first and foremost, uh, guys, I live in South Carolina. So I'm, I, I see a lot of comments about you guys saying uh, South Carolina has a stop and ID law. N they, they don't, okay? Trust me. I, they did. I, I would have gave up my information, no doubt, but they don't. I did nothing wrong. So that's first and foremost. Second of all, um, I was in, I was uh, at the Greer Police Department conducting the first amendment audit test. Um, as you guys know, it was, it was ultimate fail. I mean, I, I was violated my fucking rights, uh, man. Char I was, I was kidnapped. Unlawfully imprisonment, false imprisonment. I mean, uh, uh, the list really could go on and on and on, you know. But um, other than that, um, other than that, it was it was pretty much ugly, guys. Um, I was held by the Greer Police Department two and a half hours before I was released and issued a citation for interfering with police. <laughs> and my thing is that, f yeah. and the crazy thing is I feel like that's one of those type of things that they just, they try giving people just to, so they can just check my word. It, well, either or whatever. I'm saying that fucking fine for that charter is ridiculous, guys. It's. It was literally like a thousand and forty-two bucks, like ridiculous amount of money. But yeah, um, right now I'm I'm just handling that situation. I did happen to see all of the news coverage of um, all of those guys, and then I saw some of the some of the the lawyers they interview, and I I mean, if you ask me. So very interesting here. He says that he paid a thousand and forty two bucks for interfering with the police. So that indicates that he was found guilty or pled guilty because if the charges were dismissed, he wouldn't have to pay over a thousand dollars. So I'm sure the cop haters and the lens lickers are going to have a really hard time swallowing that pill. Fuck out. Hell, Loris was dumb as fuck. If you ask me, a, a lot of them were. So. That, that was that thing there. Um, I really I really couldn't tell you guys too much more about that because it, it made no sense or whatever of, of what they were saying. They, sounded to me, they just, they're media, they're media. Um, but yeah, I have, that's, that's, that's my main focus right now, guys, is, um, is handling that whole situation with this little criminal charge with interfering police. Um, that's next month. Um, hopefully I can get that dismissed. That's really my main thing because, hell, yeah, I mean, they, they just violated me all the way across the board. And with no and ifs or buts about it. So, that's my main thing right now. Um, other than that, guys, man, I just want to thank you guys for all of your support for for um just everything man it's, it's it's so many people that um 
I could I can name, but if I name them, then I'm missing out a whole bunch of more people. So I mean, I just say, man, thank all you guys for your support, for uh, for leaving your comments, uh, reviews, um, e even um, you know sending me information on on this whole situation and things like that. Um, so. All that support, what did it amount to? Absolutely nothing. This guy stopped posting seven years ago. He only got 3,000 subscribers out of it, so he probably didn't get paid. And on top of that, he got a nice criminal case out of it where he had to pay $1,000 and who knows how many more penalties. He didn't get a lawsuit out of it. He gained absolutely nothing to further his life, to further anybody's rights, and he just totally embarrassed himself. Now that's it for the video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys on the next one. I live here!